Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Oh, I knew there was something I forgot. I forgot my earphone. Hold on one second. Alright, I'm back. Hey Ryan. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing? I want to make sure that you can hear me. Can you hear me okay? I knew there was something I forgot. I forgot to get the earphones. Sounds a lot better. It sounds clearer at least until I'm able to get a microphone. Hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. It's been a minute since I have been on. Um, Man, January and February have been very interesting. Um, those were definitely interesting months for me. I wanted to find out how was January for you. Ryan, how was January for you? And I do have something that I want to read. And then I kind of wanted to just talk as quickly as I can about January and February. And now what God is doing in March. Hello everyone, thanks for coming on. So let me read something to you um, quickly. So the Lord says, I am the foundation and focus of your life. I am a, I am a firm foundation, one that will not be shaken. Before you knew me as Savior, you had nothing to build your life upon. Every time you tried to create something meaningful, it would eventually collapse like a house of cards. Without me, everything is ultimately meaningless, meaningless. Ever since I became your savior, you have been you have been building on the rock of my presence. Some of these things you worked on have flourished and others have not, but you have always had a firm place to stand on the foundation that I have provided for you. The keys to steadfastness in your life is it set me always before you. Mm, let me say it again. The key to the steadiness in your life is to set me always before you. There we go. We fixed that. When you make me your focus, you can walk steadily along your life path. Many distractions will vie for your attention along the way, but I am the guide who is continually before you. So keep looking ahead to me. See me beckoning you step by step all the way to heaven. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Hi, Jamaica. Hi, Jessica. And those scriptures came from Ecclesiastes 1, 2, 2 Samuel 22, 47, Psalms 42, and Psalm 16 and 8. It's from this, um, the Jesus today, I, I enjoy looking at it every day and just kind of saying, hmm, what is the Lord saying um, before I get into his presence? So let me go ahead and pray. Again, I am here because I want to talk about January and February, y'all. January and February have been some groundbreaking, earth-shaking flesh puncturing like months. And they're, oh my gosh, like okay let me just pray first definitely father i just thank you for this time this time to speak to your people god to share what it is that is on my heart that's something that you have placed on my heart to share with them lord lord i thank you that there's no nerves no anxiety no jitters but god all of you in just a dialogue that's it in jesus name amen so i just wanted to dialogue with you today Please let me know how your January went. If you do not want to put it in the comments, send me a message because I'm very interested to find out if January and February were hell months for you too. I, ju I just want to know, can I get a thumbs up or, or something if January and February were like hell months? They were really, really bad. But you know one thing, even in the midst of January and February being horrible it was always like even though i think that they were horrible those things still worked out for my good if that could, if that even makes sense and it only makes sense <laughs> because it's a god thing right so god started to shift things 
and for those of you know when you start to shift things that's kind of uncomfortable any type of changes that you're making in your life or changes like when things are happening and they're being shifted and they're being adjusted there's things that happen and it's uncomfortable it's uncomfortable to be shifted it's uncomfortable to be transitioned to something else and what i really believe that god is doing is god is like okay i've heard your cries i've heard your prayers I hear you and I'm going to give you those things that you've been asking me for, but how, how many of you know that those things come with a price and it, it's not like a price where God is like, give me your money, but it comes with a price with your time. It's going to come with, um, some love. It's going to come with you developing patience. It's going to come with you developing, um, um, that tenacity to continue to stand. Like it's going to cost you something. And I was talking to some of my girlfriends and I said, you know, we sing this song, uh, Refiner's Fire, you know, purify me. I want to burn for you. And then God starts to purify your flesh and he starts to burn those things off you that he doesn't need. And that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> oh my God. It's like a, like a stinging to your flesh, but how many of you know that you have to go through that? You have to go through that purification to get rid of, to remove, to expose anything that God doesn't need in this season so that he can get rid of it. You know, if you want to be used for God's glory, man, you're going to be tested. You are going to be tested. And be careful looking at someone else's life and thinking like, oh, man, I wish I had that person's life because you don't know what that person went through to get that life. Amen. Let me see. So... My mother in love said, no, I didn't mean to give a thumbs up. I had a great new year. Hey, I'm glad that you had a great new year. Hi, Mr. Lewis. Hi, Jessica. I got Jessica Klein on here. Mr. Lewis just got married, newlywed. I hope you're enjoying that newlywed. Um, I'm not going to call it a newlywed phase because I don't believe that it ever has to end. You know, you can always be in your honeymoon if that's what you desire. You know, you have power. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Hi, Danielle. Hey. So I just wanted to, again, just talk about January and February. For those of you who feel like you were being stretched in January, for those of you who feel like, you know, like, man, like you just got gut punch. Just know that that gut punch is for your good. Just know that everything that you're going through currently, that it's not a surprise to God. God already knew these things were going to happen. And guess what? God already positioned the help that you need in the appropriate time. So I just wanted to encourage you. I don't want to dwell on January. I don't want to dwell on February. I'm so happy we're in March and I'm looking forward to March being new and being a season of peace and being a season of love or a month of love like I, I'm just in great expectation for March I'm in great expectation for March so I'm like Lord I know that you shifted shifted some things and I know you shifted some things in my favor God let me see you show up God let me see you show out because you're faithful and because God always provides so Lord for all of those men and women that are under the sound of my voice, if they felt like January and February has really stretched them, has shifted, has been uncomfortable, has been unpleasant. Lord, we know that those things did not happen by surprise, that you had already knew that those things were going to happen and that you have already made a plan of escape, that you have already made a plan for them to continue to abound in you. Lord, you are a strong tower and I thank you that even right now, those that are feeling weary and well-doing, that they're running into you, Father God. They're running into you to find refuge. They're running into you to find safety right now, Lord God. And I thank you that they're just encouraged, that they're stirred up, and that they're ready for 2020, that they're really, really ready for 2020 and all that you're doing. And all that you're doing. And Lord, we just thank you that you just continue to be that firm foundation in which we stand on. And when things get uncomfortable, we run to you. When things when things get uncomfortable, we pray more. When things get uncomfortable, we press in. When things get uncomfortable, Lord, that we just turn to you. And so we give you thanks in all things, God. We give you thanks 
and praise and glory and honor. Lord, we just thank you that you continue to purify us and to burn out anything that you don't need in our lives, anything that's hindering us, holding us back, or Lord, anything that's even having us to be in agreement with lack. I curse lack right now in the name of Jesus. I curse a lack, a poverty mindset. Father God, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. In any area where we feel as Christians, Father God, as your children that we are lacking, Lord, we just invite you in it. We invite you in those areas in our lives right now. We thank you, Lord, and we give you the praise. We thank you, God, because you're worthy. We thank you, Lord, because you're faithful. We thank you, Lord, because you always show up. You always show up, and we thank you, God. So, God is so good. He is so faithful. Hey, 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 Jillian. Hi, everyone who has joined. I just really wanted to, again, just let you know that what was meant to harm you, God is using for his glory. He's using for his glory oh my gosh man anyway so i'm gonna get up off this live it's been a minute but i just wanted to come on and say hey y'all i'm still pressing i'm still going through my things that i'm going through i'm in the midst of the storm but you know what god is with me he is surrounding me his favor his love his mercy his grace and all of those things make it easy when you're going through easier how about that <laughs> it makes it easier when you're going through your own storm so no matter where you are if you're at the beginning at the middle or at the end of your storm just know that God is with you just know that God is faithful just know that God is not a God that will lie and that this storm it won't last long that it will be over like in the blink of an eye when you're going through it it seems like it's like okay Jesus like when is this storm gonna be over with because you know, I'm just, I'm about done with this. You know, and once it gets to that point, that's when God, that's when I believe God just shows up and he shows out. So anyway, I can keep talking about God all day, but y'all, I got to get ready to um, head up out of here. So everyone have a phenomenal day. Continue to have a phenomenal day. Make sure you're spending time with the Lord. If anyone has any prayer needs, reach out to me. You can I guess you can hop up in my DM or you can text me. You can email me, speaklife24 at gmail.com. Um, you can also visit my site, jasmintamia.com. Go on there if um, you have any other questions. And love y'all. Have a phenomenal day.